know how things work in Night City. The stronger survive, but that's how things stand. You're either somebody, or you fizzle out into nothing. Then C ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. One time, a Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. Chrome sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun! Big Maelstrom never forget! Never! <laughs> I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood in Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 6th Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. Shot! 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 Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh. I hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Any idea how many attacks from behind the black wall we neutralized? If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. The voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the voodoo boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0. Their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf, our home. Until last week, the animals crawled in. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in the city. Breaker star! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle, someone else needed them. I fucked you over, you fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My husband's new Westbrook. Very high in the tiger claws. They did what made the best eddies. Sold sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers. They run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. I gotta do something! Shut the fuck up! The tigers will kill us. Come on, baby. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Folk went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. Think you're some kind of gang group now, huh? Us moxes have each other's back. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the mocks? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Not much going on out here, huh? Au contraire. This is an ecosystem. Nomads, Raft and Shiv, corporations and drifters, they form a complete whole. Remove one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes first? Family or the outside world? This family will go to hell and back. Everyone in this city lives in their own bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Hi there. New to Night City? It's not so bad here. How we feeling today? Cause I feel amazing. The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Our home. Our pride. And as always, your business is my business. And this is your World News Update. Endless 
possibilities and endless lies. We are fucked, America. And I don't know how we're gonna fix it. The homeless population in Night City has risen by 300%. Crime in Night City is now double the rate than in the new United States. You want to be some kind of hero? That's a fight this city won't let you win. On your own, you're fucked. Well, on that note, that's it for today's Info Flash. Sleep tight, Night City. The grass ain't greener anywhere else. Night City. What does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who was Richard Knight? How many stations are in the NCART system? Which city district boasts the best burrito in town? The answers to these questions and more can be found at the address at the bottom of your screen. Check it out and fall in love with Night City all over again. She pulls my trigger, got me up all right It's a danger pretty here in Night City How did Night City come to be? Because yes, it exists in the world of the tabletop, but uh, how do you take that and make what we've got now? Well, yeah, as you can imagine, making a city that is as big and complex as Night City is, is quite the ambitious project. First off, we sat down and we were really considering what is it that we wanted to do with Night City. In a way, Night City is the star of cyberpunk, right? It is one of its main characters. We wanted to make a city that is very, very believable, right? I mean, the word immersion gets thrown around a lot, but really, we wanted you to be able to dive into it and feel like this is a real place. And then secondly, we also wanted to provide enough variety between districts so that exploring Night City would always be fun, right? There's no point in making a city that is all, all same-ish and you know, it doesn't really matter where you go because once you've been through one district, you feel like you've been through all of them. So for that, we first off started taking a look at the real life geography that Night City is located on and that would be on the coast of California. Knowing that Night City would be a coastal city gave us a bit of insight into what we would expect from the city layout. You'd expect the port, you'd expect huge industrial areas that would facilitate this kind of trade that you would assume a kind a city of this type would have with the world. And then we went through and actually divided the city into several districts, six of them. And some of them are based on the uh, original lore. We decided to give their own characteristics in terms of um, architecture, their demographics, the kind of people that would live there, and also the function within the city. Each of these districts in turn, we divided into further sub-districts, which we further characterized using the more grand theme of the larger district. This process, I think, has resulted in a city that is feels quite alive, has a lot of character, where each district feels like its own distinct zone without feeling separated from the larger picture. And that results in something that allows the player to easily navigate even the complex concrete jungles of Night City simply by looking around and always having a rough idea where you actually are. But Night City is clearly so different from anything we've ever created with The Witcher. Can you give us some idea about, or some insight into just how big and like how densely packed Night City really is? Yes, um, so <laughs> I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that Night City is easily the most complex thing that I or the others have worked on. The city is super organic, right? It's not like a chessboard layout, but the, the layout of the city is crazy. And you can tell that it grew in phases, right? Where buildings have been built on top of each other. And uh, I guess the mega buildings that we have showcased are a great example of this. Um, you'll actually see that they are located on a, some kind of pillar 
you know, and then expand outside and then up, up high into the sky and underneath it you'll have space for other buildings. This yields a lot of interesting experiences when it comes to exploration and that's the one thing I'm most excited about for players to experience. We've been saying that our exploration is super vertical, right? But what this really means is that it changes the way you explore the city. Compared to our previous games, you won't be able to easily set out on a target in the distance, right? You won't be able to say, oh, there's a castle on a hill over there, I'll try to get there and then you'll be lost in the way. But here it's much more intimate, much more moment to moment. You might be roaming the cities and um, get a call by your fixer who informs you about a job nearby that you might be able to do, right? Or you find an alleyway and you walk down one of the many many alleyways that the city has to offer and it's always a surprise you don't know if you might stumble upon some gangers hanging out that are up to no good sometimes and these are the moments that i often get surprised with you even stumble upon the odd elevator that is meant to connect parts of the you know different layers of the city and it's quite astonishing sometimes to see where you come out when you enter one of these and you know find that oh this is actually how it connects to the world that's crazy and now i'm here and now i know there's a shortcut that I can take and again this all serves to really enhance this sense of wonder that we all come to love from open world games and the whole city is built to cater to that. I mean you guys have really brought Night City to life and I really want to make a point of that it is a living breathing city so as a level designer can you give us some insight into those little touches that you guys have made because I hear you guys have even been placing rubbish by hand. Oh yes, um, we've been placing quite a bit of rubbish and that's certainly one of the more glorious parts of being a level designer or an environment artist where you get to litter the streets that you've spent time building with the garbage. But it's details such as this that um, we find really important to make the city feel alive and also we take great pride in the process of making this right we have a lot of fun actually placing all of what we call mini stories right these are little encounters um, that you can find when you simply walk along the streets of course we have huge quests right side quests we have lots of side activities that you can do but it always is nice to just kind of stop down for a minute and take a look at your surroundings um, that we have so lovingly created and try to see if there maybe isn't something that you can be a little detective for. Now one other thing that I think is really really cool is also the fact that we have um, actually named every single street in the city. So not only will NPCs be able to communicate their locations or the locations they want you to visit by sort of referring to the street names but also you will be able to talk to your friends about it in that way, right? Have you been to Poplar Street in Japantown, for example? Um, and I think this is a small detail, but the philosophy that we have with these kind of things is that, you know, many, many small things contribute to the sum of it, which is hopefully then you being able to explore a city that you feel is truly alive and uh, that you haven't been experiencing before.